गाइस वेलकम टू वीडीश अकेडमी डॉट कॉम एंड हियर इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूव द फॉर्मूला फॉर सम ऑफ द स्क्वेयर्स ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर्स बाय यूजिंग द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन सो द सम ऑफ द स्क्वेयर्स ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर्स व्हिच इज 1 स्क्वायर प्लस 2 स्क्वायर प्लस 3 स्क्वायर प्लस सो ऑन प्लस n स्क्वायर इज गिवन बाय n इनटू n प्लस 1 इनटू 2n प्लस 1 डिवाइडेड बाय 6 सो फर्स्ट लेट अस कंसीडर दिस एज p ऑफ n एंड नेम इट एज ए इक्वेशन 1 First, let us prove that p of one is true. So, let us substitute n is equal to one in the terms n square is equal to n into n plus one into two n plus one divided by six. So, by substituting, we get one whole square is equal to one into one plus one into two into one plus one divided by six. Therefore, this would come as one is equal to one into one plus one is two and two into one plus one is three divided by six. Now let us simplify. By simplifying this, we get two one time is two and two three times is six. And again by simplifying, we get three one time is three and three one time is three. Therefore, we get here one is equal to one. So as LHS is equal to RHS, we can conclude that p of one is true. And similarly, let us assume p of n plus one is true. Now let us substitute n with n plus one and the term of this series n square. So we get here. n plus one whole square, and this would be the next term of the series. Now, by adding n plus one whole square on the both sides of the equation one, we get one square plus two square plus three square plus so on plus n square plus n plus one whole square is equal to n into n plus one into two n plus one divided by six plus n plus one whole square. Now, let us simplify the RHS terms. First, let us take the LCM as six. And in the numerator, we get this as n into n plus one into two n plus one plus six into n plus one whole square. So from both the terms, let us take n plus one as a common factor. We get here n plus one into n into two n plus one plus six into n plus one divided by six. And therefore, let us write this as n plus one. And by multiplying n with the group two n plus one, we get two n square plus n. And here, by multiplying six with the group n plus one, we get six n plus six divided by six. And therefore, we can write this as n plus one into two n square plus six n plus n is seven n plus six divided by six. And now, by factorizing, we can write this as n plus one into two n square plus four n plus three n plus six divided by six. So this would come as n plus one into let us take two n as a common factor from the first two terms. We get here two n into n plus two, and by taking three as a common factor from the other two terms, we get three into n plus two divided by six, and it would come as n plus one into let us take here n plus two as a common factor. We get n plus two into two n plus three divided by six, and we can write this as n plus one. And n plus two can be written as n plus one plus one, and let us write two n plus three as two n plus two plus one divided by six, and this would come as n plus one into n plus one plus one, and by taking two as a common factor, we get two into n plus one plus one divided by six. So by this, we can say that p of n is true for p of n plus one. So therefore, we can conclude that the sum of the squares of a natural numbers one square plus two square plus three square plus so on plus n square is given by n into n plus one into two n plus one divided by six for all n belongs to natural numbers. So this was the proof for the formula of sum of the squares of natural numbers. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdshakademy dot com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.